Hi everyone, so I thought I would do another video where I take one eyeshadow palette and use it for a whole week and create a whole week's worth of looks for you guys, like hopefully something a little bit different, not just my usual like mid-tone brown every single day. Pushes me out my comfort zone, hopefully shows you guys like how versatile a palette can be. I've done it before with the Huda Beauty, the Mercury Retrograde palette, which I just loved. That was a very bright but sort of pastel toned eyeshadow palette. I'll link the video up there in the corner if you missed that. And I created five days worth of quite colorful makeup looks for me. I did an all over lilac one day. That was just stunning. I love that one. I did like a dark green glitter eyeliner. Um, so that was a brilliant, brilliant palette. And I really enjoyed like getting stuck in with that. But this palette, I'm kind of cheating a bit because that was almost like a first impressions. This palette I've actually had now for just over two months. So I've been using it a load and this is almost like a showcase of my favorite looks. It's the NARS Afterglow Eyeshadow Palette. It's limited edition and it is available now in the UK. I actually bought this when I was in New York because it released over in America earlier, um, but it's now here. I think it's 59 pounds. They have also found it online for 56 pounds. It's over the 50 quid mark. This is a pricey palette. This is a high end, luxurious product. You get 12 eyeshadows in this and they're a mix of matte, shimmer, there's some duochromes, there's some real sort of pressed glitter shades in there. You get a bit of everything, but honestly, and I said this in my February favorites video, I think this could be like the only palette that I had and I would really, really be fine with that. It's a gorgeous mix of warm tone nudes, neutrals with a pop of color in it and colors that I really enjoy wearing like oranges and pinks. I love those on the eyes. Um, yeah, I've just got a ton of wear out of this. So I thought this week I would show you my five most worn looks with it and hopefully give you a bit of inspiration. If like me, you love a brown all over the lid. Let's like push ourselves out of our comfort zone here. So it's Monday day one and I thought today I would share with you like a one wash look. Just to give you a close up of the palette, this is what it looks like and today I'm going to use this shade here all over the lid and it's a very interesting pearly yellow with like a pale pink lilac -y duochrome to it. I wore this to a party somewhere, I can't remember exactly where I was going but I just did this all over the lid with lashings of mascara and really, really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see things a little bit better. I'm seriously puffy today. I went on a hen do this past weekend and just ate junk food and drunk a lot, didn't sleep a lot. Oh, I can like better keep my eyes open today. Feeling extremely grateful for the creation of concealer today. Um, one thing I would have done all the way throughout this video is use the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base underneath. This is like my go-to eyeshadow primer. This video is not sponsored. I bought all of these things myself. I just happen to love NARS eye products and lip products as well. Their complexion things are nice. But this primer is the dog's bollocks, as is this palette. So I'm gonna take a flat eyeshadow brush. This is the Zoeva 234 Luxe Smoky Shader. I will link down below for you the palette, hopefully in stock, and all of the brushes that I use throughout this video as well. I'm just gonna apply that to the brush and then sweep it all over the lid. Hopefully you can see that. It's just such an interesting shade, this like peachy, yellowy pink. I don't normally wear sort of more pale, shimmery shades on my eyes anymore. I used to back in the day. Like this actually is quite MAC, all the glittersy, but it is very awakening. So if you're having a puffy day, like I am right now, I do find that this helps. And then I'm taking a Zoeva 228 Luxe crease brush just to blend out the edges, but not touching that center bit of color because I really want to keep that duochrome there. I might apply another layer actually. I feel like I could go a little bit heavier with this. I'm actually gonna take a bit of this sort of mid-toned neutral brown and just take a little bit of that to like blend it out in the crease just to give it a bit of a bit of something something and then blending it out with a mac i think this is a 224 didn't want a lot of definition there but just just a tad so i've got that duochrome just all over the lid blended out a little bit in the crease with a brown. Um, sometimes when I've done this look before, I haven't added that brown, but I just feel like today, I feel like my eyes are quite heavy on top and they're feeling a little bit more closed than they usually are. So I think that sort of has helped a little bit. I'm just gonna put an absolute shed load of mascara on. Oh, mascara is everything. I use the, the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Wet Mascara today. I've really got back into this. You can just get such good definition. I'm just gonna put on one more layer because I feel like when I look tired mascara really truly is everything <laughs> and that's the finished look for today I feel like it's very simple but it's really helped like open up my tired eyes and I just love 
that shade I think it's really unusual because it's kind of a bit pinky a bit peachy kind of like mackle the glitters vibes but a little bit more like interesting like one step further so that is my everyday look for today and I will see you again tomorrow so today we're off to London for the day if you can hear like movement in the background we're like packing up and getting ready to go but I have one final thing to do before we leave and that is throw on today's eyeshadow look so again using the palette and I thought we're having quite a low-key day in London and we're going to hang out with Lily and Grey this morning which would be really nice um so I thought I would do like my everyday look with this palette and my everyday look is to mix this orange with this brown and I just take a fluffy brush this is the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush and I just sort of go doof 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 and then just blend it in all over the lid and that for me is the perfect orangey brown that isn't too orange isn't too bright it has a bit of interest in it so i'm just putting that all over the lid i feel like it goes on really smooth builds up really quickly the fluffy brush does all the hard work for you and that's the eye look done that literally took me <laughs> 13 seconds same on the other side Ta -da! Um, that's quite like a light layer and um, if i wanted a little bit more color the pigment to be a little bit more deeper i would just go in with like another layer over the top but that is just the quickest everyday look that honestly took me no time at all can you believe i'm done already i'm just gonna throw on some mascara so you can see like the final thing and there you go that is the finished look for the day so quick so easy so simple probably like my most comfortable look with this eyeshadow palette but just great that it has like crazy brights in it and then also has shades that you can do your everyday look with love it so we've woken up in london and we were supposed to go to the london ray concert last night but she sadly cancelled so we had a little date night instead we stayed in the hoxton in southwark and it was lush we had a really good time went for a little meal upstairs it was lovely um but for today's makeup i've actually got like quite a semi chill day it's like a little bit of travel i've got a meeting and then i'm going back to brighton and we're going to watch parasite and have pizza how wonderful but i thought i would do a look today and um, it's one that i've done on the eyes before but i'm going to try something a little bit different that i haven't done before and um, so on the eyes i'm going to use this like telly tubby tubby custard type shade this pinky matte color please ignore that the shade on my brush is currently brown i have no clean brushes with me and um, i have actually done this look in a video i will link that video up there in the corner for you and I really, really enjoyed how it looked. I think today I want to go for more of like a pastel -y vibe with it on the eyes. Like something not as extreme as I did in that video. And there's still quite a lot of brown on that brush. So I feel like that is looking <laughs> more like a pinky brown. But it's cool. But I want this to look sort of watercolory on the lids. Whereas in that other video that I did, I made it really like opaque. So I really need to clean my brushes because that's definitely come off a lot more brown than when I last used it. But I'm going to throw on some mascara and then I'm going to see if I can like push this eyeshadow palette to the limit and try something fun. I feel like if I come in a little bit closer, you can see the effect better on the eyes. Um, I think this colour looks so, so, so gorgeous with like a pale eye. It really like brings them out. It's like a purpley pinky sort of shade. And I thought what I would try and do is to create a bit of a blush slash lip colour also out of this eyeshadow. And um, I feel very Katie Jane Hughes right now. So I'm just going to take some of the Walida Skin Food on my lips. And then I'm just going to pat a little bit of that pink over the top. I'm going to take it on the brush. It's definitely giving my lips a bit of a tint. I've got some on the bottom but none on the top. Scraped off like a top layer of pigment. Ah, there you go. Mm, that's really made my lips quite pink. That's worked. Just going to add a little bit more lip balm on to create more of like a creamy texture. Okay, pink eyes, pink lips. Now can I take it one step further and create a little bit of a blush for my cheeks? I'm just going to add a little bit more bronzer on because I feel like whenever I wear pink on my face, I need a bit of bronze to even everything out. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Victoria Beckham. This is the Star Rejuvenating Priming Moisturiser. A tiny, tiny little amount. And then with my finger, I've like scraped off some pigment, like so. If I mush that together, what do I get? I need a little bit more pigment. Okay, I think I've created a little blush. Mm, I think that worked. And I haven't destroyed the pan really at all. Oh, cute. So just zooming you in there for a second, but today's look is like a bit of a multi-tonal number. I love that. So we're back at home and things are about to get colorful. Um, you might notice that I already have something on my eyes today and that's because 
These arrived yesterday, they're from Glossier, they are their new sky wash products. I actually ordered every single shade, but Glossier also sent me every single shade, so thank you for that. The leftover ones will definitely go to a good home. Um, and I tried this shade today, uh, Valley, on my eyes. They're supposed to be a sheer matte lid tint. That's how they market it. I'd say number one, they're very sheer. Although actually, this color does have a, a decent amount of pigment. Um, I think it was this one that I tried yesterday, Palm and I just couldn't really see this on my lids at all. Um, but this one, Valley, did have a decent amount of pigment. So this is just turning into a glossy sky wash review. But it wasn't fun to apply. Um, I ended up applying it with a Zoeva. This is a 231 Luxe Petite Crease. I sort of ended up putting it on and then like blending it out a bit and I just feel like it's a bit patchy. Like I don't know if you can see here, it's like a little bit pale on the lid and then it, oh, it, was, it was tricky. To work with. I don't think this is a fun texture to work with. I much, much, much prefer my Giorgio Armani lid tints and personally this is not something I would buy again. I feel like there are much better ones out there in the market and um, so I was disappointed. This is the product that I've wanted Glossier to make like forever when I met Emily Wise like four years ago now when they started shipping to the UK and I was like please can you make a shimmer free like creamy eyeshadow and that's what they finally made but yeah these aren't for me which I'm sad about but it's fine we're going back to the NARS Afterglow eyeshadow palette which is oh and I'm just going to use this as a little bit of a base um, because today we're going really colourful the looks up until today have been kind of more of the neutral, like more wearable ways I'd wear this palette, but today we're going all in. I really, really wanna create this Katie Jane Hughes photo, which did she do a live or an Instagram story with this? And I saw her create this look with this palette. That's the whole reason I bought this palette in the first place. And I just think it looked absolutely incredible. Um, so this look is kind of focused around this bright pink here, and then also a little bit of the orange in the inner corner. I tried to recreate it and I created this look back at the beginning of the year where I think I sort of looked like the alien emoji a bit, like, <laughs> you know the one. But I didn't have exactly the right shades so it didn't really translate perfectly. But now I have exactly the same shades so let's do this. I remember through watching that video, I wonder if she's got it as a highlight. I don't think she has, but she does have a highlight for the Fembot look, which is what I wanna to try tomorrow, so that is all good. But I do seem to remember her taking this pink on a flat brush and spraying the brush with some Fix Plus and just getting like pigment on the eyes. So that is what I'm gonna do first. This is a CQ brush. I can't remember what the number is, but I will try and find it and link it below. But there you go. Whoa, whoa. See, I knew it wouldn't matter what we had on underneath. Holy moly. So once I've got the main sort of pigment on the eye, I'm just gonna start blending before it completely dries down. Wow. That definitely isn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm just gonna get some pigment on the other eyes and then we can start building. I think my plan is just to blend at the moment. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm just going over with a MAC 224 brush that has nothing on just to really soften out those edges. I've tried to be a little bit braver with this section here, because I feel like Katie always brings out her eye looks in that direction, and it always looks so beautiful. So, trying to keep that. This color is like, wow. I feel like she's added a slightly paler, like metallic pink on the inner corners. So I think I'm gonna go in with this one here and just like soften that first, like inner third of the eye. Ah, uh, yeah. And then I think maybe she's pressed this duochrome more over the center. There's a real like wet look going on. Ooh, just kind of blending those two together and then adding a little bit more pinking because I feel like I've lost that pink slightly. I kind of love that. I feel like it's really softened up the look. So now I need to do something along the bottom and add in that orange. I think I'm gonna go along the bottom first and I'm gonna take my original brush and just go in. I think she just has like the dark pink with a shed load of mascara over the top of it. So now I just need to locate a clean brush <laughs> which I can use to apply the orange. Hmm. Is it the orange or is it the metallic? I think it's the like goldy glitter. Maybe I'll do a bit of Fix Plus on this as well. Right, ready to finish it off. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's definitely that. Whoa. This was the color that I didn't have before and I feel like this really finishes the whole thing off. I'm just taking off some of that weight there underneath. This makes you realize that Katie has such a refined touch. Like I feel like I see color and I just go in so heavy handedly where she does it so beautifully and with such like grace. 
Um, I'm going to take some of the white actually, which I never normally use in this palette, but just to sort of add a little bit more something something to that scent, that inner corner. And then taking what I applied the glitter with and just kind of connecting that orange in. Is it perfect? No. Is it fun? Yes. <laughs> um, so this isn't the exact look that I wore to my friends. I didn't do the orange in the inner corner, but I really, really, really loved the pink all over the eye. So I'm just topping up my concealer underneath just to mop up and sort of help with the shape underneath there. Doing the same on the other eye. And now I'm gonna put on a shed load of mascara. <laughs> so that is it. That is the finished look. My recreation of Katie Jane Hughes's amazing makeup. Um, recreation attempt, <laughs> definitely not the real deal, um, but I really loved playing around with these colours and it definitely is a look that I would like crack out for a birthday party. As I mentioned, I've already done the pink. I've already done the pink for someone's 30th. Oh, Mother Friends 30th soon, do I add the orange? Maybe I will. Right, the final day, and again, this section is sponsored by Katie Jane Hughes. Well, no, it's not, <laughs> you know what I mean? I saw her do this Fembot look, and I just absolutely adore it. I've been wanting to recreate it for like two months since she did it. There is a highlight on her Instagram profile, and that's what I'm gonna be following in terms of placement and textures and the depth of the colors. Um, but she's done it in lots of different ways with different colours and I'm going to try and do it today with this. Um, in the one that I follow she's using a dark sort of brown shade and I thought I could use a combination of this one and this one for that. Um, and then across the middle of the eye she uses like an iridescent silver blue and I think for that I'm going to use this orange with this gold glitter on top. I don't think I've used that gold glitter yet so it'd be fun to give that a go. And then she contrasts that with a bright gold um, and I feel for that I might go for the pink maybe, like one of the pinks, that's the final step um, and so we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But this is something that I feel is really not my forte. I feel like with eyeshadow I just, I, I throw it on. I go heavy handed, I just want to get the colour on, I just want to get the pigment on. But this is all about precision, blending and really light layers that you build up over time. So I'm going to try and be patient, I've got a bit of time on my hands this morning and um, yeah, I want to give this look a go. I'm so excited, I've washed all my brushes and I just obviously have used my complexion ones but all of my eyeshadow brushes are clean which is great news because everything was just muddling <laughs> into the same shade. Uh, so the first thing that she did was take quite a small brush and put it in a matte deep-ish shade. So I'm going to take this one here and she sort of applies it above her crease. It's messy, it's cool, we're going to blend it out. I'm not too worried about the placement but she's almost carving out a little V shape in the corner there. I'm going to blend that out with a 231 Luxe Petite Crease from Zoeva. And she basically keeps adding until she gets a slightly winged look there on the corner. So that's what I'm going to try and attempt. Then she takes a deeper shade. So I'm going to take this more cocoa brown. And she takes that more along the lash line and again just tries to build up the intensity of that wing. I feel like I've got somewhat there. I'm not sure it's perfect. In fact, it's definitely not perfect. Um, and maybe it's like a little bit too blended. I'm not sure if it's structured enough, but this sort of eyeshadow placement feels very unnatural and different for me. So I feel like it's something that would get better with practice. Um, but the next thing that Katie does is sort of mixes those two shades and creates a little shadow in here. Whoa. Okay, that was maybe a little bit too much pigment on the brush there, it's fine. We can blend that in. But yeah, she creates this little shadow here which really begins this fembot interesting shape. So I'm just gonna blend that in so it doesn't look, whoa, whoa. That is a really fun place to put eyeshadow. <laughs> I never apply eyeshadow there but it's really fun. That's like a fun little place to apply. Oh, it feels kind of ticklish. So she then goes back in with her pencil brush and I'm just gonna go in that deepest cocoa brown again and just add a little bit more to the lash line here. And again, she just sort of blends that up a little bit. Ah, that's what it was missing. That's what it was missing. Ah, oh, much better, much better. Okay, this look is starting to take shape. Um, I'm gonna take this orange. She takes like an iridescent blue, but I'm gonna take this orange and she sort of applies it diagonally through the middle. Let me just double check. So for this section, I'm gonna take that orange and just apply that through the middle. Ooh, blending that out at the top a little bit. No harsh lines. Ooh, sun is out. Um, I just love that orangey shade. And then over the top, she takes like more of an iridescent blue over the top, and I'm just gonna take this 
gold <laughs> and just press that over wow that's nice it makes it like a little bit more gold than it does orange so then she adds a little bit of that orange and gold to the inner corner so i'm just going to kind of mix them and apply that there i was tempted to add some of the fuchsia pink to this but i think i'm gonna use this like pale sort of frosty pink instead and she basically adds that to the inner corner and then this middle section here so you get like the opposite of what's on the top and the bottom i see how i feel and then maybe i'll add a little bit of pink too pale there's not enough contrast i mean she literally uses a gold and a silver so i think I'm just gonna have to go in with that pink again i've got no other choice that pink definitely looks better with a bit of mac fix plus so brb well, let's be a little bit more blended in so just taking another smoother brush to try and soften that up a little bit and i might apply a little bit of shimmer over the top as well ah there you go just adding a little bit more of that gold in because I feel like the pink is there to be more like a little added extra. It's not necessarily the main pull of the look. The main pull of the look is this like center section. And then underneath in the center, she just added a little bit of that pink. Well, she added gold, but we're doing pink here. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow. So that's kind of all the placement down on the eyes. I just want to add a little bit more of like the brown to like oomph it back up and give it more of that definition but i think i've kind of done it sort of oh i'm impressed <laughs> so this is the finished look i have never done a look like this on myself and it's not something that i would wear every day but it is fun it's like something a bit different it's like fun to play with makeup sometimes and try new techniques and try and like nail new shapes and color combinations and i guess this was more of like a tool to show myself that this truly was the most versatile, gorgeous palette ever. Uh, I just really, really adore it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. This is the end of me like playing around with one palette, giving you five, hopefully quite different looks from like the Fembot look, Katie Jane Hughes style, to just like the little orange and brown combination that I do every single day. So let me know if you like this look, if you would like to see any other palettes have the five looks, one palette treatment, anything else you would like to see makeup wise, because it is fun to experiment from time to time. So thank you so much for watching. I will link everything. Whoa. There you go. Sun's gone behind a cloud. It's all good. What was I saying? Oh yeah. I will link everything that I've used down below for you, including these brushes, because these brushes are just absolutely awesome and the brush cleaner that i use special shout out to the beauty blender brush cleanser it is the best um, but thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye